Just how far should new rules for outdoor dining downtown go? Commissioners have wrapped up months of work updating regulations for sidewalk cafes. One change calls for a new fee, but as WJBF News Channel 6's George Estla tells us, some are suggesting even bigger changes. Not on a cold day in January, but sidewalk cafes downtown are popular. And that has some wondering if the city should take an extra step when it comes to regulating their use. Downtown businesses that want tables and chairs out on the sidewalk are now facing a one-time $25 application fee. This is just ridiculous to keep nickel and diming these businesses and the citizens of this city. It's just ridiculous to do that. City leaders have been working on sidewalk cafe rules for months, but should the changes stop with just a new fee? Inside these businesses, it is smoke free. So should that ban include the outside tables as well? Smoke free. Even on the outside? In my opinion, I mean, if it's smoke free, it's an extension of the restaurant. I, I say smoke free, and they want to go off a little further. But I, I'm, I don't want to be um, affected by smoke when I'm eating in a restaurant, so I wouldn't want my patrons to have that happen. It took the city many tries to pass the smoking ban, so do commissioners want to extend it to include sidewalk cafes. Well, I'm a little biased there. I think if you sit outside of a restaurant, and you, you should be able to smoke. I don't see anything wrong with people smoking at the tables. No, not at all. But the organization Keep Augusta Beautiful has noticed that cigarette butt litter has increased by 40% since Augusta's indoor smoking ban started a year ago. What we came across downtown on Broad Street, where we would see those lit, uh, cigarette containers, but then we still see butts around on the ground. It's so easy for people to just flick that butt and not think about it. Though the city smoking ordinance doesn't say how far it does require everyone to leave public buildings when they want to light up. No ifs, ands, though plenty of buts. In Augusta, George Ascola, WJBF News Channel 6.